Hello, my name is Mary Decatur and I work with X-Rite's application support team. Today, I'd like to take a few minutes to discuss with you the DNG file format and how to import images, allowing your application to do the conversion quickly and easy through the software. First of all, I'd like to also tell you that there's three reasons that I myself choose to use DNG within my own workflow. Probably the biggest reason is that these images are going to import at least 20% smaller than if you were importing your raw files using the raw format from your, your particular camera. Raw files are going to actually have two files that, are, that will be associated with them. The first file will be the photo itself, and then the second file is called the XMP sidecar file. This is data that is containing things such as your copyright and keywords. With DNG file format, all of this information is packaged into one nice file so that it's much smaller and easier to handle as you're bringing the data in. And yet, you don't lose any of the same flexibility that you had using the raw format. Lastly, DNG is an open format software that was created by Adobe. The intent of this format was to allow users moving forward to always have the ability to open their images where some proprietary software may lose some of that flexibility in the future. It also allows users with more than one camera model such as a Canon and a Nikon to store their images in one format rather than having multiple formats on their system. When importing your images through Bridge, my own personal workflow, what I like to do is convert these images directly within the software on import. So to begin with, I click on my camera for the Get Photos from Camera option. As you can see, it's now picked up the device that I'm connected to, which is the Canon EOS Digital Rebel XT. It's now connecting to my camera. And depending on how your own workflow is set up, you can choose to use either the standard dialog box, which is what you're seeing here, or you can also go into the advanced dialog box. I mys myself prefer to use the advanced dialog. So this is how my layout looks when I first go into my import. As you'll notice, there are many different fields, and I'm sure m most of you are pretty much familiar with how you'd like to set up your own folders, your own imports, and how you have your own workflow down. That's fine. The only thing I want to show you here is this one little checkbox that says convert to DNG. What's nice about this feature is what this now allows me to do when I click on, I'm just going to name this actually here a moment if you can bear with me. For the purposes of this, I'll just call this test. And then for the purposes, I'm going to click on Get Photos. And as you'll now notice, not only is it going to be copying these files, but it will also take any raw images and it's going to convert the file over to a DNG, which is what it's doing here at this time. I'll go stop that now since I don't need to continue. And that's how easy it is to create and convert your images into DNG for use with the Color Checker Passport using your Bridge software.